MustangMedic.com. Mustang Medic, Ford Mustang Search and Rescue. Brought to you in high definition. The 1964 and a half Mustang, Mustang Convertible 260 small block engine project. Day 25, bringing her back to life. An another day in the life of Mustang Medic. 64 and a half, getting her interior today. Um, the firewall pads, as you saw in the last video, has been set up. We're ready to start putting in the carpet and prepping to put in the seats and the center console. So, exciting time for the interior. Waiting on a decision on how the carburetor is going to be handled. Thank you for the offer of sending a, the 302 carb. I'm pretty sure the 302 carb is not going to work on a 260. But if you want to send it to us and we could use it for another engine, we're always very grateful for the donations you guys send in. Let us know. All right, it's an exciting time for us here because we're putting the carpet in, and it's always it's always fun to have the. Uh, completions of putting things together. So we're getting all the dirt out of here. I'm going to show that paint. We're vacuuming out the bottom of the mats. We're going to lay the carpet in and then we're going to start putting the interior back in. So do a thorough cleaning of your vacuuming before you put your carpet in so you don't have to carry around dirt with you forever. It's all the details. William visited today, the owner of the car. He's very pleased with the work. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to report. And uh, he's going to, let me turn off the vacuum. William, William is sending out the carburetor to get a complete refurb, uh, new carburetor, or, or he's going to refurbish the carburetor that he has with all the melted parts. So we should be seeing that carburetor in about a week. So we got a week's worth of time to perfect her. We'll be waiting for the carburetor, get the carburetor on, and we're good to go. So focusing on the interior right now, still doing some engine parts, and... Uh, Williams, please. So I'm happy. Happy client. Happy Mustang Medic. All right, so here's the brand new carpet. It's all wrinkly, and on video, it looks like it's a bunch of different colors, but it's not. It's just, it's got to be laid out, and uh, we're going to lay it into the car so it can start flattening itself out, get a little heated up. But look at that little pad right there. That's for the uh, gas pedal. That's nice. They even cut out a hole, which I appreciate. I didn't have a hole cut out in the 71 project. Wait, here goes Pete. Five point oh, baby. <laughs> um, so we're gonna—he's got to go back to his wife because he's in trouble. You know, you guys know how it is. So, I'm gonna lay these in right now. Speech. Speech. Uh huh. Are you saying speak? Either it's either way. Action. Action. Action, baby. Go ahead and say, it, Carlos. Action, oh, baby. You are like a big time director now. <laughs> 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 All right. So here's the back part of the carpet, and there's the underside of the carpet. It's got a lot of nice heavy padding on it, so it's very good. Mm -hmm. And I am going to put this in right now. Mm -hmm. The back, you want to put the... Don't talk, Carlos, on a video. Okay. You're, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everybody's here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, the reason you want to put the, um, the back carpet in first is because the front carpet overlaps the back carpet, and I'll show you that. So here you go. I flipped it, so let me get this back right around. And it has like little inset holes, and I'm gonna have to tuck it up underneath here. But you can see it fits in like so. Oh, that's good. Getting that, Carlos? Yeah, I'm getting that. Right. So it goes in like so, like this. Over the mount. Okay, so what you have to do when you're putting the carpet in is you got to make sure you know where your holes are because you're going to have to punch a hole through the carpet to put the seat belts back on. So you got to make sure you got a really good fit. And we're going to tuck the carpet up underneath here. We might have to take these panels off so the carpet can be in there. It's got. I'm glad it's got all that overlap because that will help make it. That will help secure it. Now I'm going to put the front of the carpet in. Obviously, driver's side is where the pad is because that's where the most wear and tear gets on the carpet. I'm sure William's going to put floor mats back in. The floor mats, the floor mats that we that we had, got damaged in the fire. So this is going to go over top like so. 
and under the gas pedal like so and then you just feed it up for the hole and you get it underneath It'd be easier if I had two people but Carlos is shooting so so what I got to do with this is I got to get it into place as far up as I can and I've got to cut I actually have to cut the carpet right here for this bracket that's right here there's a bracket that's, that sticks up through it because this this car has a center console so that's the center console mounting bracket that's this lump right here so I'm gonna later on you're gonna see me cut this and get this through but it's very important for it to be in position the reason the back goes in first is because the front you'll see has a cosmetic sewn strip you see this when you especially when you don't have a center console you'll always see this but the center console is gonna hide almost all this cosmetic strip because the front seats and the, and the center console will be over the top of it but I've seen cars where I've actually bought, and this is underneath this. I think it's hilarious that they didn't actually notice that this is the pretty part. So we're going to stop right here tonight. Got a sense of where the carpet is going, and we're making nice progress. Thanks for watching. Mustang Medic. All right. New carpet laid in. Gotta love that. Love the solid door. Mustang Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. Alright, team, let's go! We're gonna find the next Mustang! Yeah! MustangMedic.com. <laughs>